Moving to ethics in the finance industry, do you think it's more important now than it has been uh, in the past? Part of this initiative is really to bring ethics to the forefront and to demonstrate uh, to the, the broader community that we work and, and live in that this industry is based on ethics and the people in the industry have high ethics and bring those, those ethics to decision making. Um, and I think that's a really important thing to demonstrate to people. We've always had, I think, overwhelmingly good ethics in the industry. I think the bar at which that is often set is going up and up and up though. So what was viewed, what was viewed as appropriate behaviour 20 years ago wouldn't necessarily be viewed as appropriate behaviour now. People are realising that actually ethics plays a very, very important part, not just because it's it's the right thing to do, but because it's actually good for business. And now what we're talking about in terms of the, the oath and, and the ethics of our industry is not a new conversation, but it's a conversation that's been brought, I think, forward much more strongly because of, of the crisis. If you think about what's happened, I mean, for the first time for many of the people that do uh, get our services, they watch this thing unfold on TV every day and it became very clear the impact that financial services have on the daily lives of everybody. And that's a very serious responsibility and it's our obligation to make sure we do have an ethical industry and we do do things in the interests of that community. I believe this is an ethical industry and the people that operate in it do their very best uh, to put their clients' interests first. But in some cases that doesn't happen and we have to act quickly and if that means getting out there and communicating and saying that's wrong or we shouldn't have done it that way, then we, we should front up and do that. And it starts, in my opinion, from the top because the leadership creates how people perceive the culture of the organisation. It's the culture creates the behaviour. It was always important, but the importance of it's being driven home. People now quite rightly ask questions of their big institutions, be they commercial or government.